But if I want to take it to the next level and inc increase my production, then I'm going to have to do something different. And I wow. think the prospecting every day is a very good example of what I need to do. And our underwriters didn't view themselves as being salespeople. So we really needed to change their thought process to understand that they were our sales force and they needed to be, um, you know, prospecting, looking for business when they were talking to their brokers and selling. There's more than just one thing to take away from it. The whole thing has just kind of helped me gain confidence when speaking to agents. You know, it's led me to find different, different ways to write business, good, profitable business with the right people. It's just realizing that, you know, they're, we're integrating much younger people into the industry. So a lot of us haven't ever experienced a hard market. It's the same for our retail agents. So every single day you're spending more time, more effort on every single account that, you know, you're having to try to sell this to your retailer who's selling it to the insured. And they're relying more heavily on the experts as the wholesale broker. Took the, the disc assessment through your class you know, that the insights that came from that have, were, it was such a significant part of my career as a student and then the decisions that I've made since then in, in my career. In part because the training is fun. Um, it, it's lighthearted at times and, and I think that helps them engage. Our underwriters are on the phones today as opposed to typing emails. And that's what we really wanted to have get accomplished, so. The most important thing for me would be just like the re relationship building. I mean, I, before this, I didn't really talk to any agents or anything, and I've contacted a few, like maybe two or three, and we've, I mean, it's it's helped, helped out a lot. Just being able to pay attention more and focus more on how I reach out to my potential client. Something that I didn't think about is that if you do drop your price later without getting anything back, it really does hurt your integrity. Like I always thought about it like, oh yeah, like I'm doing something nice. Like, let me give you a lower price if you ask for it. But then you're right. They will just think, oh yeah, I can just ask for it whenever I want. Like that's not his real price. These underwriters come up with the best questions. And so when, we, when they're on the phone and they're communicating with the advisors or even better yet, the employers, their questions tend to be the most insightful. They tend to get right down to the root cause of what's gonna have that count come over to us or not. And that was a complete, surprise not only to me but I tell you what it really made the underwriters feel good like hey I actually can do well at this sales process and I, I have some skill sets that maybe are even stronger than the sales guy. Being a person in the industry and um, just kind of honing in on my sales craft um, as well as opening up a new territory I'm really excited to use the concepts that we learned.